And more business news. Chinese EV makers extended their losses with the industry facing a price war. A confidential meeting between China's Commerce Ministry and automakers also reportedly taking place over the rise in second-hand sales of unused cars. That meeting followed comments by the chairman of Great Wall Motor, who said thousands of so-called second-hand cars with zero mileage have appeared on Chinese used car platforms. Well, that's a way for automakers and dealers to meet aggressive sales targets, the result of years of stiff competition in the industry. Hong Kong listed shares of BYD and Geely ending the day in the red, as well as the Hang Seng Automobile Index, following the report of today's meeting. BYD shares have lost more than a tenth in value this week after a major sell-off yesterday when the EV giant announced price cuts as high as 34% on its electric and hybrid models. Analysts say it's a move by the automaker to protect its market share following its slowest year-on-year -year growth last month. Well, despite their slowdown in demand, electric vehicle makers are still trying to outsmart each other in their smart driving features. China's BYD is offering an intelligent driving technology known as God's Eye. The company told CNA's Levi Xiong it plans to make this technology available overseas very soon. I'm Olivia Young and I'm here at BYD's HQ in Shenzhen where they are keen to show us their latest intelligent driving technology as the race to go smart with electric vehicles heats up. The world's largest electric vehicle maker BYD has ramped up its publicity push, inviting media to visit its headquarters to test out its latest smart driving features. From automated parking, to remote parking. I basically am able to drive the car out on my phone. The company says the highly competitive EV market is shifting gears. 电动化应该上半场应该结束了，在中国市场哈，但是在海外还还没有啊。那么接现在的话呢，在中国市场应该是进行这种智能化的竞争阶阶段。BYD announced in February that it's going to offer its God's Eye smart driving system in nearly all of its vehicles, even though other Chinese automakers like Xpeng and Neo have also announced smart features. Experts note they sold about a hundred to two hundred thousand vehicles last year. A far cry from BYD's over 4 million vehicles sold globally last year. That scale bringing not just cost savings, but other benefits as well. With all the data from the 4 or 5 million cars that it's going to be collecting, it'll get much better very fast. Whereas some of these other car companies who don't have as many vehicles on the road, it might take a little bit longer. But they're already ahead of BYD currently. Whether they can stay ahead of BYD in the long term, I'm not sure. Countries and regions that likely weren't looking at adopting any type of intelligent driving technology for years, that's been pulled in by at least a decade for places like Southeast Asia, Latin America. Now, are they ready for it? That's a different question. BYD said while it's working at bringing this technology overseas, it could not commit to a specific timeline, although the technology could be rolled out progressively in different markets instead of all at once. Every国家的路况不一样,也要通过这种大量的实际的这种路势,然后不断的进行这种算法的演变,当然了,还有和当地这种消费者的一些习惯,包括一些像我们的这种支架,我们的泊车, 啊，你比如高速公路的一些路况，那么当地这个不同的国家的话呢，也在积极的啊，通过以无人驾驶的这种观点啊，去做好各自的这种法律法规。Experts add that data privacy is another challenge, while user acceptance is another factor to consider. 就是有顾虑，害怕就是像，比方说堵车呀这些，会出现什么问题，要剐蹭这些啊。我现在其实对新能源的车还在持怀疑态度，因为有太多就是不是出车祸就会起火、会落锁，这个事情是我比较大。this also comes as China seeks new markets for its vehicles to boost its economic growth and exports amid ongoing trade tensions and accusations of overcapacity by the likes of the United States and Europe. Olivia Xiang, CNA, Shenzhen.